Junk Car Willie here, guys and gals, getting the second Mustang out here. If it's Cancun, man, I've been bugging him about this thing. He won't even put a price on it. Z28, red interior, T-tops, solid. <laughs> You're getting it moved. <laughs> He's getting it moved. Not like you wanted to, huh? Oh, we got a mess here, guys. Okay, well, we'll take it. We can move stuff off this side here. Yeah. Come here. We're going to, we're going to make a uh, superstar out. Jim, all the women behind. Who's that man? I want to know that man. He's got all them cars. I want that man. <laughs> we'll make Jim. Of course, he don't have no problems. We could talk some stories about the uh, Eiffel Tower, but we won't. Well, that back that way, right? Yeah, I'm just going to put it right up there. It. Okay. It's, it ain't heavy. It's just awful. Awesome. Awesome. One up on top, right? Yeah, if I can. Yeah, I got it. It's pretty easy. Once it makes a lighter out of it. It's got handles on it. Cool. Yeah, a lot of people edit all the bad stuff, the mistakes they make. I just leave it all on there. <laughs> yeah, it's more realistic because you go to the stuff. Yeah. It's more realistic if you get all the stuff. Oh, yeah. Yeah, just. I don't add all that fire and shit people add. But I like it, it's just not me, you know what I mean? I like I, ain't, I don't watch videos like that. Yes, thank you. Just set that cardboard up there, is that alright? Yeah, I just ain't it out of the way. Kind of protect the boat. Tell you, you ain't got enough stuff. Hey, what? I said, anybody ever told you you ain't got enough stuff? Me? Yeah. I need more. I need more. So all this stuff wasn't piled up on this, guys. It was uh, piled up on it. And what was the year? Was the other one you pulled out here? Well, there's another blue one over here. And, and the 289 car, right? Yeah. 289 four speed car. So how many miles did I have? It had low miles. No, oh, it was real low miles. Oh, uh, running board for a pickle truck. We're in a big old mud bath, ain't we? Let's see some must-up parts in this one. Set it right here for now. Let's see a parking lot here. Not a parking lot. One of them little white lights, man. That's the valve cover off of it. Off of one? No, that's the Chevy valve cover. Uh -huh. this, that might not be the life for them. I moved off this off of another Mustang. Bury this Mustang. <laughs> that you did. I, when I did the video, I called it a cocoon. It's uh, in a cocoon. <laughs> Out is two semi loads. Yeah, you probably got 90% of the fill, don't you? Uh, I sold a lot. I sold a lot of it. Can I lay a piece of cardboard down there? Yeah, it, it helps. Yeah. 
Mustang back. <laughs> What's this air cleaner off of? It's a little one barrel, isn't it? It's an old Ford or something. That's why I didn't know if it's Mustang, but it ain't. It could be, it could be off of this in here. Yeah, I ain't even opened the hood up. I bought it like this. But when you trust the man, first, you know. How long has it been here? Eight years? Or that? Uh, it's been here about 15 years. Oh, it's been here longer than the other one. Yeah. I thought, see, I had it backwards. Well, uh, they was all brought in close to the same age. Got a lot of little stuff up here. The one inside there, I gave it to my granddaughter. It was, they, they was all, really, I got them all within two of each other. And uh, she's 24. And I get a turn over, she was two. I like to see you get that black one on the road. I mean, that black one on top one on the car uh -huh. show this year. I give it to the youngest granddaughter. Yeah. I like to see you get I used to drive them though. The other one's a convertible. That's No, no, they're both parts. I thought one was a convertible. No, one's got oh. the black one on the top. Is the other one red? The other one's all red? One's, one's uh. The red is orange, and the other one is a uh, red with a black yeah. on top. Yeah, white one on top. Yeah, black. that's what I thought. The other one is red with all white too. Hi, <laughs> Isaac, what you talking about? <laughs> you guys worried about my socks getting muddy? It's all on my ass, or I'll be all muddy. I was just sinking down into it that one spot. There's a water. Miscellaneous blue stuff here. Oh yeah, I can remember jamming back in the 80s with these. You thought you was something if you had to set these up in your back glass here. Oh yeah. <laughs> how much money you think right here? Just in the truck part. Do what? I said, well, how much money is it just in the truck part? I have no idea. Good bit since they're brand new. If somebody wants them, I'd sell them all to them. They're very, very cheap. Huh? If somebody wants them, all, I'd sell them very, very cheap. What would you sell everything that we're, all your trucks are in parts? Like, what, what are they? Rail? Uh, uh, they're um, windshield. They're yeah. uh, uh, you know, bug guards for the front of trucks and cars and, and uh, running boards and uh, wheel guards and. What would you take for all of them? We're live here. You guys, if you're here, I said, I'll, I'll get you. I'll, I'll, I'll come and get them. $1,000 for all of it. I'm telling you what, we'll have to do a little bit on that, because it ain't just the stuff we're taking off here. He, has, he put it on top of a big pile he already had. You know, some of these are drill guards and stuff, $200. Yeah, yeah. There's, I see 10 pieces that I could pick out there that make a thousand back, and I guarantee it. Probably 200 pieces there, if not more, isn't it? That's an MT one. You got another one? Oh, yeah. Got you some, uh, these are GM, ain't they? Or 382. These MTs? Yeah. Uh, yeah. For another project. I like them old school ones. Bad thing about them, a lot of them used to leak bad, didn't they? Yeah. Anything that was aftermarket, like the chrome ones, aluminum was. You may tell me aluminum was heat up. We're saying you'll have another guy that tells you they were perfect. 
just depends on that ball you get one that didn't want to work and then it's just next to the Bronco too. Kind of buggy shit. Here's Yam, he's like, I got me a flashlight somewhere. I know where it's at. <laughs> he's got a box of them. Ever ready to. I'm sure that was an auction buy. So is that how you bought it on Sunday or an auction? What's that? Yeah, like this stuff. Right? I bought it at Paul's leg. Oh, that did. was the two semi loads you were talking about? Uh-huh. He used to take his way when he got a sale. <coughs> Man, he got to shoot the breeze one day and he just told me everything. I think the rest of it is just some good shit. Oh, yeah. Wow. Get the seat up right now. Look, guys. First shot of it. It is a Mustang. I told you guys. Everybody's like, that ain't no Mustang in there. I was like, oh, yeah, it is. You guys subscribe to Right Turn Garage TV. He's gained about 50 subscribers since I've been started sharing his videos. Right Turn Garage TV. I had one. Well, you know, you always get haters, jealous people, whatever. I shared a picture of this like it was, and guys like. I don't know why even people try to mess with stuff like that. I'm like, that's a guy that buys his cars fixed up. If he even buys cars and cars, he buys them fixed up. Uh -huh. I'm like, it's a solid car. You like the blue one, then this body's a lot better. I noticed one little dent in the door, you know, on this body. I'm hoping the frame wheels are alright, but not. We'll fix them up again. Oh, yeah. That ain't no, yeah, I don't sweat that shit like I used to since I met Jim. These, I think these are to your, uh, is this the one for that old truck in there or anything? Yeah, uh, them for a 28 Chevrolet truck. Is that one you have in there? Yeah. So where can we put them so I don't put them somewhere different? Uh. I'll take it right up here. Uh, can you put it right here? That was a bad idea. I didn't put it where you told me to.
What's this right here? <coughs> That's a, a towel panel for a, a Model A. I've, I've seen people take those and make a car out of them. Oh, yeah. Right, right. I got several of mine here. <laughs> oh man, you remind me so much of my dog. I miss him. He would not sell nothing. I'd have to. He never gave me nothing. I bought cars off him, but it wasn't an easy process. He, he liked everything. He, he liked keeping it. He felt comfortable having a little cars that didn't run around him. kind of guy that goes through stuff and like, oh, I didn't know I had that. <laughs> yeah, I do that a lot. Where did I get that at? you started messing with you're 70 what five 75 when's the first time you started messing with old cars they were a little kid now was your dad into them or is it something no, you no. picked up off somebody no, my dad he was logging okay and uh, we had a mechanic car course and he he taught me the neighbor boy how to rebuild motors uh-huh when i was in early grade school what was your uh first car 1949 boy 49 boy that's why you like that one inside so much yeah, he's got one in there with how many miles? 13,000 something out in the south of Albuquerque, and, New Mexico. And this thing is one of the cleanest cars I've seen. It's just a receipt in there whenever they bought it new. It was 890 some or 980 some dollars. What was that? For the car, one of the brands making they got. It'd be easier to put this panel go this way.
Yeah, somebody that goes to flea markets or something, they could, they could really make probably four or five times off that thousand for them truck parts. Oh, yeah. 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 Three of them laying here. Remember every day I box them off that truck? Uh huh. This is the kind it had on it. See what we got under there. Damn, I didn't know they had a high performance 289. You sure you want to get rid of it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, somebody did a Craigslist rebuilt, took a spray can, and just blew it all, you know what I mean? All over. Wires and all. Hey, this has power steering on it. My other one, yeah, my other one don't. What about brakes? Nope, nope not brakes. Just regular. Is he locked up? Is it? I said, is it? I can't, the belt's spinning. Well, if it is, we know how to fix that. Oh, yeah. You backed it in here, didn't you? Yeah. Or somebody did? Yeah, that's what I thought. That's been... Yeah, that's. Uh, still got the factory radiator. Power steering, which is. An upgrade. Huh. Well, they've had it apart because they painted these in here, and these are not rusted like they usually are. Now, this one right here, you see how that's got that there? That other one don't have that. That's your cylinder. Uh, yeah, but it has it right here. Yeah, oh, well... Okay. It's it's like in the in made into that. Uh -huh. But this should is that the way they did different years? Sixty five. I'm not sure about it. Just be truthful. I know they have it on the door, the engine block when you take the starter off. Because uh, I got the I got the uh, uh, engine in that car is the one it came with, that blue one. Yeah. Yeah, the one it came with. Where do you want these lights? I think I need to get them. These ones here. Uh, yeah, if I was going to see if I could just swing them over here. Where do you want them? Right just there. right against that? Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Oh. Just put them on. Right here. Stand right in front of it. How's that? Stick this. Stand up a little more straight in there. There you go. How's that? Yep. I'm sinking. Oh, I changed my mind. Let's cut it back up. Yeah. <laughs> 
Okay. What do we got? Well, at least it's on box. I'm happy about that. There ain't any gas tank. Let's show you guys a little bit before I turn. We take a little break and go get some wheels on it. So this is what I'm dealing with. See, they, they prepped it. They had everything off. Raised the new quarters on it. New floor, new gas tank in the back. New seat pedals. Uh, new, yeah, new front seats. New uh, headliner anyway. Headliner's new. The dash, it's in here somewhere. The instrument cluster's back there. This one's a little bit more apart than the other one. But we'll get it. It might be original four pans. I'll have to get... No, no, okay. Yeah, I see. I see. Well, on the other side, they, it's not even a panel. It's a... The other side's just metal, you know. But I'm happy. See? Got the little things on there for the 65. Four lug. Yeah, you get haters. That one guy's like, on that blue, it's like, it's a six-cylinder with drum brakes. It ain't nothing. I'm like... I don't know. They think I'm paying ten thousand dollars or something, you know? Yeah, I'm like, yeah, it's, it's something. Well, can I drive my truck back around here to bring the wheels? Yeah, yeah, I'd be back right to it. Uh, which I didn't bring my floor jack. Oh, I got floor jacks in the garage. Which one do you want to drive? Uh, the blue one's probably the better. We'll go around and take, get you something to drink, take your break first. Yeah, let's, let's do. Just turn this camera off and take a break. This guy gets around better. I thought it had one. Okay, it's got one flat on the back. Okay. You need to get, bring saws off to cut that tree. Yeah, yeah. Do that saw, saw, and a jack's all we need, right? Wimper's well, got lug nuts on it. I don't know. I no oh, shit. I took him lug nuts there. Today. Okay. There's two on the back. That, that hold the wheel. That'll hold that one. None on the front. On this side. I might have to. I took him out of my truck the other day. Yeah, we can look around. We're probably. Uh, yeah. There's only one on the two for that one wheel. We gotta get three more. Man, that Camaro is nice. Ed and Terry's almost men, isn't it? Yeah. Got it sealed up. That car has been driven for 25, 20, 25 years. Really? Yeah. yeah. I've already asked him, guys. It's one of them NFS. Not for sale. Uh -huh. Well, I got you on here, guys. While he's going back, I'm going to go over and show them the Mustangs again, okay? Oh, okay? Try to get rid of them. If not, I'm going to have to bring them to my house and put them up on block. Oh, somebody. Everybody's got to give out sometime. That's a bad breaker. There's a nice Jeep Liberty. That thing right there runs good. Around 100,000 miles at Jimmy. 1,500. I think you wanted 12 for this Jeep Liberty. Uh, it's got brake problems. Starts right up, both of them. So we we got the door over there, guys, for this, and it's got a clear high tide on it. I think I look on the door over there when I go back. I think it's a 289 two barrel. I know it's a 289. So you see, this is what you're getting here. No rear end. It does have the spindles inside it for the front. No rear end. Like the exhaust been replaced at one time. No rear end. Uh, no. Well, no nothing. <laughs> it's got floors. You know, you'll see. Uh, for 500 bucks, the title alone. The doors right there's the fender. You can see it's had Bondo in it. They're breaking out. But for 500 dollars, guys, I was asking six. Five's a minimum. Five's a minimum. Here's the six on the car. Clear title. Twelve hundred minimum on minimum. You know, if you took them both, fifteen hundred dollars. It's a six cylinder. Bring your wheels. These have been sitting on the ground for the last uh, yeah. they ain't been here that long. Maybe two years, three years. Somebody was gonna buy parts of it, and I do have the front piece for it if somebody's interested in this. I'll let that go with it. It's missing the radiator carburetor and radiator carburetor and wheels and bucket seats I think that's all it's missing in fact the back seat is pretty good and even the floors they've been patched yeah they've been patched but 
Yeah, they, that one over there. Seat's in good shape. So, there's some parts here. I mean, this could be a rowdy drag car, guys. I'd take 15 for both of them. 12 for one. I hate to... That one, I, I'd strip down more before I send it. But I gotta get them out of here. And I, I don't have much property where I'm at. And it's in town. So, I gotta haul away another car. So, we just gonna do it all at once. I don't wanna do that. I don't wanna take everything off I can and crush them. But it's that thing about I live in town. I have seven cars there, bringing three more in, not counting these. So these are in about 15 minutes outside Plummer High, Meggs County. We can help, you know, we'll load them on the trailer for you. We got stuff we can do that with. But man, wouldn't that look good, like a stock car or something? Oh, yeah. As always, guys, it'd be a boring world if we saw the same. Keep being you.